I'm Don Cameron, General Manager and Vice President of Terranova Ranch in Central California and also President of the California Department of Food and Ag Board. Here at Terranova Ranch, we made a change probably about 20 years ago to diversify and look to other crops that would fit our soils and our climate a little better than what we'd been growing. We had been growing some, a lot of commodity crops over the years and we felt that our climate and our location and uh, the way we farm would be better adapted if we did change to more diverse crops, more specialty crops, more high value crops, because farming in California is not inexpensive. We have a lot of challenges here and I think we need the diversity for stability. Um, we grow over 20, 25 different crops here and we know that the diversity has been a very good thing to have here on the farm. So knowing that we are facing climate change, Terra Nova was very proactive in building the infrastructure to bring flood water on farm. And the main reason we did that is because we know that our climate is gonna be more variable in the future. We know that we're going to have more rain than snow. We know that we're gonna have additional droughts continuing throughout you know, the future. And they're gonna be more severe. The flooding will probably be more severe. And so we took that opportunity to put the infrastructure in place to bring flood water on farm, store water under our feet, uh, because it's extremely difficult to build above ground storage here in California now. Many of the rivers, almost all the rivers have already been dammed. And we know that we have a huge capacity to store water under our feet and to make the state more resilient uh, in the future and to make California agriculture more resilient in the future. This is one of the many ways that we're looking at to face climate change and to be able to continue to farm within the borders of California. So we're currently standing next to one of our direct recharge fields uh, the field behind me is normally planted to either tomatoes, peppers, onions, or carrots, one of the field crops. But what we did this year is through our infrastructure that uh, we developed over the last 10 years, a system of canals and lift pumps, we're capturing flood water that would normally be uh, causing problems downstream uh, with some of the rural communities with flooding. And we're diverting it onto the farm through the canals and lifting it onto the fields like the one behind me. Uh, and by doing that, we're allowing the flood water to percolate down to the aquifer. Our aquifer is currently around 240 feet uh, deep in this region. And our hope is that we will add to the groundwater, bring the water level up considerably during this period so that we have more resilience in our water supply long-term. This is the first year that we've actually operated the, uh, the groundwater recharge, the taking of the flood water. You know, we just came through three years of severe drought. And so our project was finished about two and a half years ago. Um, so this was the first opportunity we had to actually put water into our canals, into our fields. And so we really had a test. One of the common denominators that I've seen throughout the world is the real need for a secure water supply. It uh, doesn't matter where you are, farmers pretty much have the same concerns. Uh, without water, we can't farm. We're, we're acutely aware of that, especially here in, uh, in California, where we have seen dramatic shifts in climate to a year like this year, where we have historical snowpack and rainfall and uh, we're gonna have a lot of flooding continuing this year into, uh, into the summer. I think all farmers are on the front line when it comes to climate change. Uh, we definitely have seen it firsthand here. We've seen uh, in our tomato crops, the heat during the summer has aborted the, the bloom and reduced yields. And we know that if we don't make changes, we're not gonna be successful. We won't be farming this land in the future. We know that climate smart agriculture is critical. I think to farm in California, you've got to be innovative. You've got to be up to change. 
you've got to be looking for the next uh, advancement that's going to help you out long term. Um, we know that there are a lot of challenges. Uh, there's a lot of ch climate challenges here in California. We've been whipsawed back and forth from, from drought to flooding to drought again. And we know that's our new norm. We know that we're going to be experiencing higher temperatures. We're going to be experiencing more fluctuations in climate. We have to be looking for plants that are more resilient, that are more adaptable. Uh, we're going to have to be on the forefront of change, and we know that. And as long as we do that, I feel we will be successful. We'll continue to be able to produce uh, food for the rest of the country and for the, uh, for the world in, uh, in the area where we grow here. If we don't, we're doomed to failure, no question. We've got to be creative. We have to be looking for solutions that will advance the long-term sustainability of agriculture in California and throughout the world.